we are back in London for another luxury shopping vlog. everyone, Steph here. So we are back in London and of course we are going to be doing some shopping today. There are a few bags that I really want to get my hands on and I've just walked past John Lewis and it looks like they have a sale on so I might quickly nip in there because I did spot some Longchamp and also Mulberry bags. Now the bags that I would like to see today is one that's been on my wish list, well to actually go and see for a while now if you watch one of my previous vlogs at Harrods, it's actually the Dior mini saddle bag but it's in the hot pink colour and I just, I don't know, I just feel like I need to see it in person because it could just be such a fun vibe. If you like the look of anything let me know in the comments down below and guys I have to show you, I'll give you a full outfit in a little bit but the bag that I have actually brought with me today is one that's been in my collection for a long time and I just have not used it and today it just felt perfect to use it. So it is my Speedy 30 in the giant monogram and look I have my little dog charm on here which looks a little bit like my dog Pablo and I'm actually staying over in London tonight and I didn't want to bring like a wheel case with me because then I'd have to find somewhere to put it because I don't think you can take like big luggage into Selfridges. So I've just managed to get everything that I need into my Speedy 30 and it has just been the most perfect bag. Anyway, let's crack on. First then, I think we might just nip into John Lewis really quickly, see the sale items and then to Selfridges. Ooh, we've also got over here, if you can see just here, this is Luxury Promise. So I've been in here before, it's like a really big store, but you do have to book appointments. I'm just wondering whether to go and knock on the door and see if they will maybe let me in if they have like any appointments available. Do we be cheeky and go and do that? They did have some really nice Hermes bags last time I went in. We're trying it, I've just rung the doorbell. Let's see if they'll let us in. Literally promised have, let me come and take a look. So we have this orange Kelly in 28 with gold hardware. I, as you guys know, I'm starting to like the Kelly bag more and more. And I actually think originally I was gonna go for a neutral, but now I think I want a pop of color. I just think they look a bit more useful. And look at this Birkin. So this is a 30. Oh, the sunlight's hitting it now. You can see the color. This is a taupe and rose color with gold hardware. Oh, these just look so nice. This is a special order bag. I mean, you can tell because it just looks so special. So I'm now waiting for the Kelly bag in the lime color because I keep seeing it online and I don't know, I kind of gravitated towards it. What do we think to the lime color? I'll have it in a second so I'll be able to show you. But out of these two, which one would you go for? The Kelly or the Birkin? Some refreshments whilst we wait for the Lime Kelly and look at this Hermes pillow. It is so beautiful in here. We have the Lime guys. Oh my gosh. So this is a 28 Kelly in Epsom leather in the Lime color. And this one has the Palladium hardware. Let me show you in the sunlight. Look at this so beautiful it does have the shoulder strap as well and for comparison so these are both the same size the orange oh wow i think i'm feeling the lime color it's just so bright isn't it what a puff of color well, what are we all feeling about the lime do we like it i mean it doesn't really go with this particular outfit that i've got on right now but i do think with because i have quite a neutral wardrobe this would go with a lot Oh my gosh, so beautiful. You can see the grain of the leather. And this is a luxury promise, guys. And these are selling apparently very quickly, like all these pops of colors right now. So the three we've tried on, so nice. The orange is really beautiful as well, to be fair. Success, they let us in, guys. Luxury promise, literally round the corner from Selfridges, just off Oxford Street. They are so sweet in there. They didn't have like the showroom set up with loads of bags to go and see today. But if you know what you want, they can go and like fetch you items. But I do advise you probably best to book an appointment with them. I think you might be able to message them on Instagram as well and book on the website. But oh my gosh, the Lime Kelly. I feel like I'm getting closer to maybe knowing like the exact bag, like style, leather, everything. And I think Lime is a really strong contender right now. And I still feel the same way as last time. 
Team Kelly instead of Birkin. Never thought, never thought I would see the day, but we're here. Okay, so the next plan is um, John Lewis is just here, but I'm gonna go into the other side because all the bags are around there. They've got sale on, so I'm just gonna have a quick look and see if there's any bargains to be had that we might wanna pick up. And then we'll be heading to Selfridges, which is just over here behind you. Sale and some mulberry over here. They've actually got some Strathborough here, guys. This is a brand you all want me to start talking about more. Um, if you aren't familiar, this is actually a favourite of the UK's royal family. Kate or Catherine, Princess of Wales, often wears these bags. So a lot of you might know her as Kate Milton. She is now the Princess of Wales. And I love the like bar details on these Strathbury bags. So this is like a shoulder bag. How much is this? £455. Like the leather looks really beautiful. Look at this. And actually this is probably my favourite. I think this is called the Mosaic bag. The leather is really nice and they've got it in green and they've also got this black one here at the grain of the leather and how much is this one 425 pounds sorry let me get my camera to focus here it is guys the black one you can wear it on your shoulder so yeah i really like this it feels quite regal and elegant but also I don't know, like you could style it with lots of different outfits. Are we a fan of Strathbury? And then over here we have like pink, mosaic. That's really nice, really different. One here, this one is 215 pounds. This red bucket bag. How much is this? 325 pounds. Guys, I ran out of time to do a uh, my nails, so just forgive me for that. <laughs> this is cute. I like this. All the different colours. And some tote bags as well. Oh, they've got up to 30% off. Oh wait, look at this one as well. Okay, this one is £475. And I really like this one as well. So let's quickly try it on in the mirror. That's lovely, isn't it? They have this in black as well. Maybe some other colours. I like the nude. Really nice. I'll link these bags in the description down below for you. Some Kate Spade bags here. If you're into your dragonflies, it's like a raffia one. And then there's like woven wicker bag. And then Mulberry, it doesn't look like we've got any sale out to be honest. These all look like current season. We've got the yellow and the pink like mini Bayswater bags. Dolly, the Mini Alexa, no Portobello Blue, which is the one I was hoping to see. And the rose colour over here and the neutrals. See by Chloe section here, so it doesn't really look like, we've kind of got big sale signs, but not that many like sale bags around. Like we've got a few, but we do have some in the See by Chloe section that do look like they're on sale. This range, by the way, See by Chloe is cheaper than the usual Chloe range. So if you're looking for something that's more affordable, I mean, you can still get like really beautiful full leather bags. Shall we see how much this one is reduced down to? So this one was 435, now 261, up to 50% off. I love this like sage green color. This is also really beautiful. 231 pounds reduced down to. So you're getting the Chloe vibe, but for like a fraction of the price. Oh, this is cute. Look at the shape of this. It's like a little mini backpack with the gold, got some orange and blue. So we've got some beeping going off in the background and some more green and nude there. This is nice as like a little crossbody, but yeah, in general, the sale I wouldn't say is like crazy. Oh, we have some Longchamp here. Nick, this is for you. I know how much he loves Longchamp and I just got a raffia one recently in the sale. I got the one with the yellow horse on it. So what have they got? They've got the, so I got this one, but mine has the like yellow applique and I have already used it and I absolutely love it. I think it's brilliant. I've got some reds. Oh, I really love this one here. Let's take a closer look. I've seen a few people with these, like Emily Canham, I would think has one of these. How adorable. This isn't in sale to my knowledge. Can we appreciate how much this kind of does go with my outfit today actually? Oh, it's adorable. It does have a strap in there as well, so you can cross body it. How cute. These are super affordable as well compared to other brands. 
looks so nice wow look at all these colors here and they have like the bigger one as well but i actually think this like nano one with all the little horses on is definitely my favorite like one that i'm looking at maybe getting next oh here we go they have the pink one left in the sale and i have the yellow one but i was super tempted to actually get the pink because the detail is so nice but i'm actually really happy with the yellow one i've got some more bright colors and all of these are in the sale guys oh and here's the green one in the sale oh wow look at these such a bright green i don't know if these are coming across on camera but they're really nice it's like full leather bag okay here we are at selfridges just over here we've still got scaffolding up it looks like which definitely takes away from the beauty of this building but um Nonetheless, I'm sure everything inside will be absolutely stunning. We have skims in the window today. There is literally no product here. It is just like, they look like swim, what, what you'd walk up to to jump into the pool. Let's head in now. And first stop is going to be Dior. It's a nice display, like raffia. Some neutrals here, we've got a skirt and a jacket from Dior. How beautiful are these outfits and these bags here. Right, so we have the Lady Dior with the pink. Oh um, wow, look at this like sequin caro bag here in like all black, and they've also got a pink one. As you can see just there. Really, really pretty. Caro bag's definitely one that's growing on me. They've got a painted black up here as well. And then this is like a pink book tote. They have the Lady Dior in sequins. And me. I know that Amelia loves this one from Amelia Rose's closet. Okay, Let's see what we can find. Oh, these are the new little. Oh my gosh, this is the one that I liked online. How gorgeous is this? It's so cute. I think it would definitely fit my phone inside. This is the larger size in the oblique. So pretty. And they've got like the striped one and also the white leather and a book tote. What do we think to this? I think this one here has to be my favorite. Like how adorable. We have some of the bright pink guys, like the big pops of colors. Not seen this though, this saddle bag. With all the detail it has. Oh wow, the D is even a pink. So pretty, like really, really nice. We have the white saddle. Oh, and this is the matte black one down here. So it's all in black. You can see the hardware is like a matte black. No success finding the mini pink saddle, but they did have the full size saddle in the bright yellow. What do we think? I'm quite unsure about the top handle. Now we're gonna have a quick browse around this big handbag section. I'm here for it. We have quite a few different brands here. Here we have some Valentino. Now this bag, ever since I saw Lover or Hater, Meghan Markle, like she looked fabulous with this piece like the white leather with the gold hardware. It's really beautiful. Like this out of all the Valentino bags would be my favorite. Let me know what you think, if it would be your top choice as well. What do we have? We have some sparkles over here. Oh, look how cute these are. Some Versace. Still not a huge fan, to be honest. We have some Lambon. Some bags here with like pearls and hearts. I've seen these before. Not for me, I'm afraid. Lambon, one that I keep looking at, but I don't know. This one's cute, it's in like a fabric. And this one has, I like this one with the fabric with the gold cat. I mean, I just prefer gold hardware in general, but they're nice. They have some like little box shaped bags. Oh, they've got one with a little crystal cat. It's quite sweet, isn't it? Some florals, definitely granny bag vibes. <laughs> we have some leather. Oh, I like this colour, like a eggshell blue with the gold hardware. Like I think that looks beautiful. What do we have here? We have some Lorna. Lorna was the late Queen Elizabeth's favourite brand of bag. So we've got pink, we've got blue and red. Oh, and this, this is nice, like the little patent one. And then we have some Christian Louboutin. I still quite like this bag. I never really see anyone wearing them. I like the spikes, I think they're quite edgy. Oh, here we go, reselfridges. So this is the area, like these are all pre-loved. Look at this. 
jumbo classic flap this is like the one that i used to have but this one looks in better condition these were plated with 24 karat gold i'm not sure if these are available on the website to see but what a great way to buy pre-loved some more chanel here like a little classic flap the reissue patent oh this denim like bag here Prada Galleria bag this is cool with like the different colours oh, but this bright green so nice and again we've got the bright green here this is not coming out on camera very well it is really beautiful and we have some of like padded bags here looks like these are all made from nylon Barbie moment guys with the re-edition these backpacks are really cute and they have like a top handle as well and they've got them in blue and pink also this little bag here oh it's got a zip closure guys this means it's secure <laughs> i absolutely love that especially walking around london I've got black and some of the other re-editions i think this is such a fun like little colorway it looks like the pinks are selling out because there aren't quite as many really nice and we do still have some sparkles in here we have the re-edition with the sparkles oh wow we've got the mint green silver and also the pink sparkles here i think the pink might actually be my favorite out of these and this style of bag i'm not sure the name of it but it's definitely one of my favorites like just as a cute shoulder bag and they have it in white leather this is like a half moon bag i've not seen this so maybe it's a new design very nice and I'm just, oh, we've got another rucksack. I'm just going to bring us around the front because we do have some raffia, but we can only see it this way. So we have white, we have a blue and white check. These are all raffia. So perfect for summer holidays, but very seasonal. So it depends whether you can justify the cost of one of these. I think if you find something that you really do like, they can be worth it. This colorway is probably one of my favorites and also this like mint green with the gold hardware i think that's cool got a bucket hat to match the bag there just spin inside we've seen the sparkles and then we have some like puffy leather bags as well still don't like these i don't like the big buckle feel like they're very retro not really my vibe now let's head into Fendi and this is the new come on bag. Here we have the baguette. I cannot wait to try this new come on bag on. They have them in leather and the canvas options as well with the gold hardware. Here we have a baguette with lots of pockets on, a little bit different, kind of almost cargo style. They have it in the tobacco canvas. The Fendi first in this like white and caramel, also in the tobacco colorway. I really like the black leather detail of the F and we have some more summery colors. So this is the small size come on bag. This is in like the taupe colorway, like a dove kind of gray. Love this one. And here is the larger size for comparison. I think I prefer the smaller size. Let me know which one you think, but I think it actually looks better maybe on my frame. And inside it is just one large compartment here so could fit my everyday essentials in the smaller size you can also double the straps up on both of these bags and wear them as shoulder bags as well so quite a versatile piece look at all these little baguettes white leather like the tobacco colorway it's very cute and they've also got like the black leather as well really really cute but the come on bag how do we feel about it guys i really like it i really really like it i like the tobacco again with the black and the tan and then i actually think maybe the tote is my favorite the sequin baguette it is iconic it is so sex in the city and now it comes in this like mocha kind of colorway it's almost like a bronzy color with like a gray leather which i think matches it perfectly and then we have the gold hardware this is probably my favorite combination of the sequin baguette. We have quite a few peekaboos. Again, this bag is growing on me. Pink with the Latisse leather. Oh, wow, this beaded peekaboo. So beautiful. And this wicker. 
honestly guys the team at Fendi are just the sweetest I am so hot right now so they have just brought out some water and some champagne for me how sweet and this backdrop with all these baguette bags the sequin so beautiful what do we think I feel like this color sequin is actually the one that I like the most even though I do absolutely love like the purple it's so iconic sex in the city and also the green which was like kind of Grinch green if you will absolutely love it but the colors the bags the new come on bag so beautiful so glad I've tried one on now maybe just deciding which color to go for and we have some bright pinks I'm feeling the bright pink right now definitely the Barbie movie is influencing this this is the Fendi graffiti and this bright pink so nice we have the baguette, these different colour options, the sunshine, this is the larger Fendi graffiti, the little bucket bag, and so that we can see the bags in the window. They have the sunshine shopper tote. Oh my gosh, look at this. Stop. This has like Fendi stitched into the bag in like a dark chocolate colour on like a tote. That is so beautiful. And this baguette with the white stitching. Wow. Okay, that is really beautiful. I think that's absolutely stunning. And that, but actually that one, because it's a little bit more understated. Over here we have the tobacco with the Fendi. Oh, uh, the pink, I didn't know this came in pink. Look at this. Oh, and this is the Nano. This is the Nano version. Oh, wow. I think you get cards in there, that's about it. Definitely not a phone and the black one. Oh, the black one's nice very classic the leather feels so beautiful obviously this is a display bag it feels very like soft and cushiony can't really explain it it's very tactile we have the peekaboo in like the caramel and then let's take a quick look in this window here more of the sunshine oh look at this baguette this is like a sequin and leather baguette i believe this one's called canvas version more of the peekaboo stitches raffia again love this they don't have the raffia fendi first unless they might have one upstairs they will have to look upstairs afterwards and the peekaboo in a caramel i think fendi at the minute is just absolutely winning oh look at all these beautiful straps as well oh and these shoes they're cute a little bit more from Fendi, the Fendi first in caramel. I love this peekaboo. So beautiful, like neutral. And then we have over here, like the, oh, we've got the sequin, but the mini baguette, How very cute. Fendi first, again in neutral, one of my faves. The stitched one outfit, what is this bag? Oh, this is the new come on bag in the tobacco. Doesn't that look nice with the pink outfit that is going on here? Some more gorgeous pieces oh i love this like poncho we have like the look at this kind of trench coat almost some leather this looks pretty cool with the boots and the sunshine tote with the tortoise shell handles blazer the accessories haul then let's take a quick look we have lots of bags from mark jacobs the tote bag one of my favorites wasn't in the in the beginning but it has grown on me we've got the raffia we have the raffia tote this is a large size Ooh, this one's like finished with leather that's nice isn't it perfect for the beach but a bit more luxurious maybe some of the canvas options over here in black and also like a cream color this bag i've never been much of a fan of this bag i can't lie don't know i just not sure about the logo do we like this one lots of different colors this area is just so fun like so many cool like brands Marnie Ooh. this is like a hairy bag but it's like <laughs> you have to look at this but it's like in plastic hmm <laughs> do we like this it's different it's different what do we have over here we did have cookie bags over here before now we have diesel bags I feel like these are very kind of Y2K style. How much is this? £425 for this one. And some more, personally not my style, but if you're into kind of the retro, oh, this denim and crystal version. If you're into like the retro style, £590. 
that could be one to go for. We have some Coach. This is the Tabby bag, I believe. Cream, chocolate, orange, and black. I'm still not totally in love with Coach bags, but I do know the price point. Like the leather again feels like really nice quality for the price point, more affordable than a lot of other brands. But now Bulgari and Givenchy. Oh, this basket bag. I've seen these online. How much is it? I don't know, but I do know when I looked at the price, these were quite reasonable in terms of like the designer basket bag world, like the raffia options. So this is a slightly larger one, but with the black, it's got like its own leather harness. How cool, how cool is that? And look, the detail here, I don't know, just shines a bit. I really think these are beautiful. Very open though, that's worth considering. There's no kind of closure for those. And let's take a quick look over here. We've got like the hobo shoulder bag in black, green and pink. We have the Antigonia in like a caramel. We have this pink crystals. This is nice. It's like the 4G bag, but it says new. So this maybe probably has a different name. Mini Antigona. I still prefer the old school Antigona, to be honest. I just think the design is still classic to this day. Ooh, more raffia. Nice, we have this tote. This is so cute. Oh my God, just because it's small. So cute. Givenchy, tote bags. I like these as well. You can remove these straps. You can like slide them off so you can use this as a crossbody bag or like a top handle bag. I think that's cute. And then the Voyou bag. These are the small versions of the bag. I'm just gonna do this with my camera to stop strobing. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> we have like pink cream, but I think this bag, to be honest, is way better in this larger size. I don't know, I think this might be the medium. Look at this in the black. It is so punk rock, isn't it? Look at it. With the gold and silver details. Givenchy, it has no closure, but you just kind of pull it over the top like that. This one's my favorite. Like these small ones don't do it for me, but this big one could be a contender for my collection. Some brights from Bulgari. Wow. Look at this with this green fabric. Again, I don't think this is coming out on camera so well, but the green is so bright. We have fuchsia pink, shoulder bag, zip closure look. Someone's having a cocktail over here, so sorry about if you can hear that in the background. Oh, wow, we have some crystals. Look at this. I do love this. I saw this in Manchester and it definitely stands out. We have like a mirror pouch as well and a denim version. Really nice. What do we have over here? We have some silver and blue. Not feeling blue at the minute, but I do, I'm starting to warm to silver a little bit more. It's like a cobalt blue. It does look nice with the gold hardware, I will say that. And then here we have the black. Black, I thought this is green for a second, but it's not, it's black. Gold and cream. Ooh, we have like a puffy bag here. Like the leather just looks so puffy. It's nice and gold here. So how are we feeling about Bulgari? I just need to check this one out because they actually have the little Oh, look at these, stop. Oh my gosh, this is tiny. This is like um, a card holder. And then here we have like a little raffia and silver. Freaking adorable, absolutely adorable. But I have actually been looking at these online. They are like little card holders and I will link them down below. But I quite like them. You could, like this fuchsia pink, stunning. You could get your cards in here some like little miniature kind of makeup pieces. Not your phone, of course not, but really, really nice. Amazing, love the colors at Bulgari. We have lots of Alaya out today. Usually this is Chanel, but we've got cool like quirky chairs. It's probably one of my favorites. This like little tote bag with the perforation, perfect for spring, summer. This is the, what size is this? Uh, this is 1,100 pounds and it says the Mina Wave, so I don't think that's the colour, but I will link this bag down below because I have seen it online here at Selfridges. Got it in white, this is a larger size, we have the here, some black and white, 
Oh, these are cute, aren't they? Like little bonbon bags. I like the yellow color and the pink. Ooh, Lombard. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this with my uh, camera so it stops strobing. We have a large cat and some of the bags out. So we've already seen some of these. Floral bag with the cat, canvas with the gold. We've seen these with the crystals. Very cute. This is like a croc one with silver. And yeah, we've seen these around the front already, but a really cool display. Check this out. So we are now quite hungry and we definitely need to sit down and have a drink. So we are heading to Macchiato, which is like a marketplace. There's quite a few different places inside of where we're going. And it's in an old church. I've always wanted to go and it's literally around the corner from where Selfridges is. So I'll bring you with me and show you because it's so close. And I know a lot of you ask me like when I am shopping in London, like where are good places to go? So we're about to find out. The Selfridges was just over here and this is it, the Macchiato Mayfair old church building let's head in so i think there's four floors and they've got loads of different restaurants in here check this out guys the ceiling we have gelato we have coffee this is cool we have pizza so we're upstairs now this might be even more impressive up here we have like cocktail bar uh, lobsters, oysters, very cool. More seating around here as well. So I've gone for a lobster roll. Look at this. And chips. Let's see what it's like. The lean. It looks like a lot of the stock is the same, but let's take a look because they do have like a new colorway, which is like a sage. So I would love to try on. Can we see the 16 here? Oh, I love the 16 bag. After I get my small one, I am just addicted. Oh my gosh, the mini 16 now comes in this new sage color and this lemon. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Saint Laurent, what do we have? Let's take a look in the window. We have lots of the puffer bag in all different colors. Black, beiges. Oh, I have like a hobo bag here. This is nice. It's beautiful. See, it's kind of open and you can adjust the straps slightly. Nice. And then what do we have over here? This is the Manhattan bag. Oh no, this one looks like it has quite a few like scrapes on it though. Oh, we've got the raffia. This is like the cape bag in raffia. I'm not sure how this one would like last. It's kind of, it's very flimsy. Barely wants to stand up. We have this one here, the tote bag. Actually, this one's probably my favorite like raffia bag out of these ones here, just because it has a bit more structure. I will link to these down below in the description box so that you can shop them. It's nice with the canvas, the envelope bag in like a nude taupe and caramel and the black, classic black. And here we have the YSL Icar tote. And this is in a suede which I'm not sure how quickly this would get dirty. What do we think? It's actually probably nicer in person, but it's still, no, not with the, this fabric. Ah, here we have the Jamie bag. So I've seen this online and it's a lot bigger than you think. I quite like this one as well. I don't know the name of it, but I like the structure and the way that they've done this with the diagonal kind of stripes on the leather. They have a smaller version here of this one as well. And one also in this like terry cloth kind of fabric. A little bit of Alexander McQueen. Oh, they have the bright pink. Oh my gosh, they have the cut out blazer. Oh, it's cut out here. Love this, I've seen it online. And this cut out blazer here, look at all this. Oh my gosh, with like the jewels, it's unreal. And this dress here, look at this with the detail. I mean, it would definitely need to be like a very special event. Oh wow, what's this, like a dress? And this white blazer with the crystals on. We saw one of the crystal, like the gray blazer. 
at Bista Village. If you have missed that vlog, I'll link it down below. And that was a few thousand pounds off. It's been worn by Kris Jenner and also Zendaya. Louis Vuitton now, quite empty today. So let's take a look at what we've got. We have some of the twist lock, the capucine bag over here. We have some speedies. It's cute. None of the Speedy 20 that I can see yet, but I'm sure it's hanging around somewhere. The East West Bouchette Matisse. Bouchette Matisse. Oh, the Capucine in Galais is so beautiful. I love this bag. Capucine. Louis Vuitton also had this like spring summer section in the Selfridges store. I love this. This is the Neo Noé bucket bag and this is in the raffia with the white stitching and leather trim. If I was going to get a bag from this collection, this one would be it, but I would be concerned about dirt. They also had some fun accessories here for summer, but I don't want to know how much they actually cost. Uh, this trunk, they have the moon bag. But yeah, the trunk, I don't know. It looks like this one does come with a strap. They also have some nice decor items out. Some small leather goods. We never usually look at these, but nice little wallets. The Petit Sapla. Some perfume. Zippy coin purses over here. And we have the Capucine with the iridescent hardware. The snow color with the gold hardware. That's really beautiful. Some lime in the Cousine, that's cute. Let's take a closer look at this beauty. Oh wow, look. The iridescentness in the snow colour. Really beautiful. And then you've got the plain version, like the mini one here. This one has gold hardware. It's really beautiful. Ooh, let's take a closer look at this trunk. This is the Mono Glam and it has like the navy. We have a speedy here as well in the emprunt leather like a small one, and the Empreinte Neverfull. Okay, Chanel, let's see what we can find. I am desperate to try the Mini 22 because I've seen them, but I haven't tried one on. Oh my gosh, this classic flat. Look at the sequins. It's like gemstones, actually. That's cool. And the glitter top. I love the outfits, like how they style them. This outfit, also gorgeous. Look at this top and the jacket, really nice. And we have like a green bag down here. Is this like a wallet on chain? Can't see, it's kind of uh, facing the wrong way. It looks like a reissue wallet on chain style almost. Look at the cuff with all the crystals on. We have the classic flap here in like ombre green, brown and orange. We have the, like a Chanel 19 tote bag. Not seen one of these before and some more seasonal bags, which look similar to the classic black, but slightly different. The jewelry as well, if you're into your pearls. Now, I spotted this classic flat. They didn't have the mini, only this size, which is the medium, in like the aqua teal kind of colorway. I will say it's probably one of my favorite classic flaps that I've seen. Here we have some really beautiful colors, like this pastel sage green almost. Is stunning we have pink this is almost like an undertone of yellow this little top handle bag you can see the yellow and the pink here with the gold looks lovely they did have some of the Chanel 22 mini they had the caramel with gold they had the black with silver and pink with silver but yeah I don't know how to feel about this bag see we have lots of burgundy caramels we have like yellows as well oh, we're gonna have to try this ombre if we can get our hands on it okay let's take a look Wow, this ombre, like sequin classic flap. Oh, so beautiful. It was about £8,000. They had the 22 in like a burgundy. This is a small size, I believe, with the gold. This cute little bucket bag. It had almost like its own little belt bag. How extra. And this little classic flap here with the gems on which we saw in the window earlier. Which one do we prefer? I think the ombre might be my favourite. So that is it for today's shopping vlog, guys. Let me know in the comments what you have liked the look of. 
Oh my gosh, so what did I like? I'm still really sad I have not seen the Dior mini saddle bag in the fuchsia pink. Um, I did really love the pieces from Fendi. The customer service there is always amazing. Like the sequin baguette has got me maybe considering the baguette bag for like the first time ever. Let me know what you think. The yellow saddle bag was also beautiful, but definitely not the size that I want. I want to go for the mini one, even though I know it's going to be a lot less practical. Now, if you have enjoyed this shopping vlog, make sure you're subscribed because many more will be coming very soon. We'll be heading probably to Harrods the next time that I do a London vlog. You can always message me over on Instagram as well. My handle is at handbag underscore holic. Let me know what you would like to see. And if I do spot it, I will try and film it because I know how helpful it is to try something on and just see someone wearing it to see whether you actually like it or not. Now, don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you. And over here, we are going luxury shopping at Vista Village. There is so many discounts in this vlog. Enjoy.